for learning HCF and LCM, let's learn about the even numbers and odd numbers. Already we have learned some of the divisibility properties in previous classes that are of the numbers which are divisible by 2 we know that 2 is divisible by 2 and 4 is divisible by 2 6 is divisible by 2 8 is divisible by 2 and so on here 10 is divisible by 2 and 12 is also divisible by 2 and so on here we understood some of the numbers are divisible by 2 in this that are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 and so on. These numbers particularly we call as even numbers. Even numbers so that let's write even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 and so on which are divisible by 2. Those numbers are called as even numbers. Let's see some of the numbers are left out after divisible by 2 that are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. These numbers are not divisible by 2, so these are called as odd numbers. So let's write these odd numbers here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. These numbers are called as odd numbers. So after a number is divided into two parts that is even and odd, and uh, even we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 11 and 13 and so on these are called as odd numbers so let's have, if we have taken some of the numbers the numbers we know that 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on the numbers will be getting and if you multiply any two numbers from this let's take any two numbers multiply these two numbers 2 into 3 is equal to 6 here, root of two numbers, we got a 6 and this 6 is called as the multiple of 2 and 3. We have taken some numbers, choose any two numbers and we have taken 2 and 3 and find the product of these two numbers, we got a result and this result is called as multiple of the numbers which we are multiplying that is 2 and 3 so 6 is called as multiple of 2 and 3 so let's find out the vice versa of it so here the same concept we'll use but 2 into 3 is equal to 6 just before we learn 6 is a multiple of 2 and 3 so then now let's find out 2 is, is a factor 2 is, is dividing 6 completely so we know that 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and also 3 divided 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 we know that the 2 is divides the 6 completely and 3 also divides the 6 completely so what we can say is 2 are divisible by, divisible by 6 is dividing 6 so 2 and 3 are called as factors of 6 so let's recall we have taken 2 numbers 2 into 3 6 the resultant part what is called as multiple and uh, that multiple is 6 and 6 is the multiple of 2 and 3 what we multiply the 2 numbers now let's take the same concept 2 into 3 is equal to 6 what are the numbers we multiply the 2 numbers are called as factors of the resultant part 6 so 2 and 3 are factors of 6 may be called here so we understood the so we understood the concept of multiple and factor so let's recall about the multiple and factors here uh, let's recall that is 2 into 3 is 
is equal to 6 and we have taken two numbers and two numbers are multiplied and uh, the resultant part is called as multiple of the given two numbers the product of the two numbers so 6 is called as multiple of 2 and 3 and when we have taken the two numbers same two numbers and uh, we multiply we got the 6 and this 6 is the multiple there but here 2 and 3 are called as factors of 6 the reason is here the factor is nothing but we have taken so we have taken a number a number divisible by other at least remainder 0 understood that 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 it doesn't leave any remainder so it is called as factor and uh, 2 is here it is a factor of 6 2 is a factor of 6 and when we divide 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 so it leaves no remainder so 3 is called a factor of 6 so here the factor is the number which is divisible by other then it leaves no remainder so it is called as factor of the the product of the result. So 2 and 3 are factors of the 2 and 3 are factors of 6 here. So, so just previous class we have learned about even number and odd number. Let's learn about prime and composite numbers. Multiplied. So there is only one number. We have taken one. So this 
equal it's a factor of 1 because it's completely divided by 1 1 is divisible by 1 only not any other number so what we call this is factor of this number we already discussed about the factor uh, concept of factor so the number which divides completely other than without any remainder that is called factor so it is divided completely so what is a factor so let's take the 2 so 2 can be written as 2 into 1 or 1 into 2 or an under multiplication it's community property so both will be seen so 2, 2 into 1 1 into 2 are equal but here we have taken the numbers of 1 and 2 only so not any other number so 2 is a factor of 2 because 2 divides 2 completely without any remainder 2 divides 1 divides 2 uh, completely so without any remainder so here factors are 1 comma 2 let's take some other number that is 3 3 is equal to 3 into 1 3 into 1 and this we have seen that is 1 comma 3 and next 4 is equal to so here we can observe that is 4 into 1 4 into 1 and 2 into 2 so here we can observe there are more than two factors 4 into 1 is equal to 4 and 2 into 2 also 4 so in this case we have observed that it has more than two factors that is 4 divides 4 and also 1 divides 4 and uh, 2 also divides 4 so in this we can observe that there are more than two factors so let's write these factors here 1 2 and 4 let's see for next number that is 5 5 is equal to 5 into 1 and we will not get in any other factors of uh, 5 so 5 and 5 into 1 is equal to 5 only so here 1 comma 5 so let us take let us take 6 and 6 can be written as 6 into 1 is equal to here 2 into 3 also 6 so here we can observe there are other factors other than 6 into 1 that is 2 and uh, that is 1 and also 6 here finally or finally and from this all the above examples what we understood some of the numbers which are having two factors and some other fact numbers are having more than two factors so we will call we will divide into some of some of the parts of these numbers that is which are having only two factors let us see 2 3 5 and 7 if you take 7 here 7 is equal to 7 into 1 it doesn't have any other factors 1 comma 7 so 7 also having only two factors so 2 and 3 and 5 7 are having only just two factors that is 1 comma 2 3 1 comma 3 by 1 comma 5 7 1 comma 7 and this kind of numbers are called as prime numbers that are 2 5, 7, 11 and so on which are having only two factors the number and 1 1 and uh, that number itself so 2 is two is having the factors of the number itself and also 1 and those numbers are called as prime numbers so other than this we will find some other numbers also which are having more than two factors that are 4 6 and 4 is having the factors of 3 so this kind of numbers are called as composite numbers and also 6 6 is having more than uh, 2 factors that is 1, 2, 3, 6 4 factors it has so the numbers which are having more than 2 factors are called as composite numbers the third 4 4, 6 8, 9 10 and so on so by this what we understood the numbers which are having only two factors the numbers which are having only two factors are called as prime numbers and which are having more than two factors called as composite number and we, we will see we have seen here there are 
Prime numbers which are having only two factors and other numbers having more than two factors, we divided this all. So these are prime and these are composite. But there is one number is left out which is not a prime number and which is not composite number. And this number is nothing but one. So one is called as either either prime or non composite. not a prime number or not a composite number it's not a prime number and it's not a composite number so that is one here and uh, one is neither prime and nor composite and two is a prime number it has two factors and three is a prime number it has two factors and four is having more than two factors so it is a composite prime number it has two factors, 6 is composite number more than two factors and 7 is a prime number it has only two factors. So finally what we understood the number is divided into three parts that is prime number and composite number and also one number is left out either prime nor composite other than the even number and composite.